Robbie, what's the uh, mood been like in training this week? It's been good. Um, it's been a good reaction to, obviously, the disappointment of, of last Saturday. Um, so, yeah, I asked the players Monday morning for a reaction. We re reviewed the game, recognised the areas where we didn't play our best. Um, but training's had a, a good intensity. It's been wet. Um, so that's added a bit of slick to, the, to the, the passing of the ball and the movement. So, yeah, I've been pleased with where, where we've come to this week. Is that reaction something that you, as a manager and the staff, are, are looking for to defeat but trying not to put too much focus on a defeat or one-off like that? Yeah, we reflect every game. Um, we, we know we didn't play well enough on Saturday. Um, and, you know, we, we recognise where the areas where we need to improve on that to, to get results. Um, I stand by that I think if we play to our best, more often than not we get the right result and unfortunately we, for one reason or other, we weren't quite able to do that last week so it hurt um, but we've got to use that pain now um, to move forward and hopefully get a good result at Bradford. We talk about playing to our best and we've done that a lot so far this season, especially away from home, another away trip again this, this weekend coming at Bradford, is that something that the away farm can take in a lot of confidence into that game? Yeah, I think so. Um, like you say, we've, we've had some really good results on the road. Um, so we, we obviously want to continue that, but we know that um, that only comes if we, if we perform and perform to, to, to our max. And that's what we've been stressing to the players. You know, Yes, use the pain of the, the Oldham game to motivate you to, to, to put it right. And we, we're doing that as staff, we question ourselves all the time, do we do the right things, do we do train the right way? And most of you know, most of the season we can honestly say yes we have because the results have, have shown that. So um, we reflect as always, we plan to do review and, and that's just been the process this week. But um, yeah, with the boys looking in a good place. In terms of Bradford, I think they're one of the pre season favourites to be up there. They've got a manager who knows how to get how to get out of this division, uh, it'll be a, a tough game at the weekend won't it? Of course, they're all tough um, you know we, we accept where their strengths are um, but we also try and focus on our strengths and possibly highlight weaknesses that we can exploit as well and um, you know Derek got promoted last year with a team that maybe people didn't fancy to, to get promoted and he's at a, a club now that has expectations so um, it'll be a, a big crowd you know, I'm asking our players to embrace the challenge and, and put on a good performance. And if we get the performance right, it gives us a great chance to get something out of the game. You mentioned the, the big crowd that will be at Bradford have played in, in front of some big crowds already this season, in Burnley away, even last Saturday. Are the players that haven't maybe played in front of those crowds before sort of getting used to that environment now a little bit? Yeah, I think so. I think at Burnley they embraced it. Maybe, maybe here last weekend... Maybe we didn't embrace it. I don't know. There's reasons why we didn't win the game. Ultimately, we just didn't play well enough. So, I would be trying to put that right. You know, we use every every possible thing to learn from and get better. So, um, it's just a, the first opportunity to try and get more three points on the board. In terms of sort of injury and fitness, how the lads been this week? Yeah, again, at the moment, um, everybody's fit and available. We've had everybody on the training pitch. Um, training has had a really good intensity about it um, you know we we feel that the players are all chomping at the bit so whoever whoever was fortunate enough to, to play on Saturday at best play well otherwise somebody else comes in and takes the place yeah it's kind of would you class it as a luxury having everyone fit and so many players to choose from rather than you know a headache as some managers may, might describe oh, it's a bit of both on a personal note <laughs> it is a headache because um, it's the hardest bit of the job leaving players out who who you've got respect for, and um, but they'll get their opportunities. The games mount up. You know, we we sat here ten days. We've had a fully fit squad. That that won't be the case moving forward. That's for sure. Um, so everybody's got to be ready. Everybody's got to be, you know, when they get their opportunity, able to take it. Um, what what I would say is those players that aren't in the team or have maybe not as, has got as many minutes as other players have been fantastic. You know, that's what I asked for. I asked them to push. I accept they're not going to be happy, but not every every footballer wants to play. Um, but the atmosphere around the squad is really, really strong, um, and quite often it's those players driving the others on, which is great to see. And pleasing to know then that you've got characters like that within the squad, and you don't maybe have to worry too much uh, about how they might react to being left out. 
Yeah, but you always worry that they ex that they're expecting to play, and that's how you'd want it as a manager. But I have to say, the the attitude of those players has been nothing but first class. So um, when they get their opportunity in the team, I expect the other boys to do exactly the same for them.